Hi, everybody. Welcome to this Facebook Live. I wanted to talk to you guys about a couple things because I am just in this ultra high vibration because I just got to work on module one of this new course I'm teaching with Allison Reed. And it was all about the mind. And I'm just feeling so jazzed about it that I just want to talk about some of the things that we're teaching. And I want to give you guys um, some valuable content as well. Um, that comes from it because it's just too good to like not share and I'm just feeling so awesome about it I just like I can't sit still I just want to like talk to the whole world so that's what I'm gonna do um, but while I wait for people to join us um, I am going to be sharing this into a few places so that we have more people that get to hang out with us so hello to everybody who's hopping on here live let me know that you're here by saying hello Hi, Cindy. I'm so happy you're here. I'm just sharing this in a couple places before we jump into the good stuff. But yeah, if you're watching here live, let me know that you're here. If you're watching this later as a recording, also let me know that you're here. I want to know who's watching and I want to have a chance to say hi to you. So let me place this also in here. And then I'm going to share this in one more spot. Cindy says, wishing, asking, manifesting. Well, we're actually going to be talking a bit about manifesting, so stay tuned, Cindy. Ooh, look at all the hearts. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love when that stream of hearts just, like, continues and continues forever. Okay, let me share this in one more spot. Okay, sharing this in my own Facebook group, the Planet Ascension community, if you guys aren't already a part of it. You should, <laughs> if you want to. Okay, so now that that's been shared everywhere, what I want to talk about is receiving relative to manifesting. And when I say manifesting, I mean creating our reality. Um, Rayo's here. Hey, how's it going? Good to see you here. Um, so what I want to talk about is like what it's like to have a desire, and then basically you're sending it out to the universe, but can you actually receive the thing it is that you've been asking for. So that's what I want to talk about today. Um, so with manifesting, we all know that we kind of first start off with something that we want. Why do we want or do anything in this life? Because we think by the doing of it or the having of it that we're going to feel better to do that thing or to have that thing, right? So what we want to first do with manifesting is get super clear as to why you want something. Um, there's a weird buzz in the audio. That's unfortunate. It might be because I have a fan on. I wonder if that's why. Does anybody else hear what Nikki and Lacey is hearing? Um, maybe I'll turn the fan off just for this live stream. Oops, I turned it up higher. Okay, well, we'll see if that fixes it. If not, I don't really know what else it could be. Um, Rayo hears it also. Can you guys confirm yes or no if the weird audio buzz has disappeared? It might be because I had a fan on. I have no idea. Okay, Kelsey says, yes, Buzz. So how about now? Is it still there? If it's still there, then I'm going to have to have y'all bear with me because I don't know what it is. Um, maybe it's my headphones? I don't know. I want to hear from you guys. So is it still going on? It is still going on? Okay. Well, I don't know what happens when you take headphones out in the middle of a live stream, but do you guys want to be part of that experiment? Okay. Can you hear me? Ooh, now we're all tangled up. Can you hear me? I'm still there. It's still there. Okay. Oh, well, I don't know what to do about it. So sorry, you guys. Um, so I want to talk about manifesting. Oh, now someone says way better. Okay, good. Maybe it was like, yeah, it must have been the headphones then. Um, so I'm happy that that's solved now. Thank God. <laughs> so if you guys are just hopping on, let me know that you're here in the comments. Say hello. Thank you guys. I'm so happy it's improved now. Um, so basically, you guys, with a desire, what I wanted to say first, which I already said before we learned of our interesting audio interference, is that you want to first know what you want and become very clear as to why. And what I had mentioned before, <laughs> so yes, let's praise the Lord, um, is because you want to know what it is that you are expecting to feel as a result of the having of what you want. So for example, let's say that what you want is to manifest a new car. 
what you want to get clear on is, is as to why. So maybe what you're going to mention first is because it's going to give me a way to get to where I need to go. Um, it's going to allow me to drive to the grocery store and, and take groceries home. But what I want you to do is take it a step further than that and actually narrow it down to the feelings. So if you get to go take your car to the grocery store to load it up and take your groceries home, how would that make you feel? So we're taking these bullet points as to why we want the things we want and we're basically whittling it all down to a feeling state. So maybe by virtue of doing that, that's going to cause me to feel a degree of safety or security. Maybe that's going to cause me to feel successful, like I achieved something. We want to get really clear on the feeling states, right? Um, because all we do is desire things because we think we're going to feel better in the having of those things. And then you get to also know that you get to choose to embody those you know, end result feeling states now as if it's already true for you. So that's kind of step one when it comes to receiving is knowing that like, okay, I want this thing. I want it because it's going to cause me to feel X, Y, Z ways. How do I tap into those feeling states now as if I didn't have to wait for anything else to happen? Um, and what that does is when you're actually letting yourself embody the feelings in your body of what it feels like to already have the thing or, you know, acquired it, um, is you're taking the desperation out of the equation. So it's no longer this like, oh my God, frantic panic of I need to have this, I need to have this, I need to have this. Because when you've mapped out the feelings that the thing that you want is going to provide to you and you choose to opt into those feelings now, there's really no more desperation because your body is going to be relaxing into those feelings and it's no longer going to be this like <gasps> kind of thing. Um, so that's one way that we're actually blocking receiving is through that desperation. So when you actually allow yourself to feel in, in your body what it would feel like for it to already be true right now, then what you're doing is you're dissolving away that desperation completely and you're actually like allowing it to be surrendered enough to the degree that it can actually come in. Um, and another roadblock that I found a lot, especially when I taught my um, Waves of Wealth course, is people would think that by virtue of wanting something that that makes you selfish and a bad person and greedy. But what we need to do is have an understanding of this universe, <laughs> which I'm apparently going to try to, you know, shrink down into a live video bite-sized amount of information for you to grasp. But the point of life, you guys, <laughs> which is a huge topic, I know, but the point of life is for us to create expansion for the universe. What does that mean? So essentially, you guys, we are all a part of this universe and all that is that we see. And the way that we get to facilitate that further is by us giving rise to desires, surrendering them so as they manifest around us physically, and from that new point of perspective of having the thing you want, what's next? That's how you create expansion within this universe. The whole point of our existence is for the universe to get to know itself better by virtue of us desiring things and then achieving them. So what that means when we feel like when we desire something that it's like selfish or greedy, all that is is old programming that we've learned a long time ago during socialization in our childhood that actually isn't true. Because the thing is, the whole universe is supporting you getting your desires because that's how the whole universe at large expands. So when you're actually desiring something and getting it, that's how you're actually facilitating that expansion. So the whole universe actually is in support of you getting everything you want because the universe benefits so greatly from that. So when we're telling ourselves the story that it makes us selfish and greedy and all these things, then you're basically saying that the universe is selfish and greedy, which is not true. So what we're basically needing to do is reframe the idea that us wanting something makes us bad. And there are so many different modalities for that. You can use, you know, limiting belief modalities like The Work by Byron Katie, which is my favorite. Um, you can use different modalities of shadow work to change that programming, like soul retrieval, the completion process, or even just going in and just really, really diving deep as to where these things come from and then choosing a new way. Um, of being. That's the whole point of having contrast, right? Like it's the stuff that we don't like and that we don't prefer gives rise to what we want instead. So what you want to do is you want to take that and leverage it for the tool that it is and decide, okay, now that this happened, what does that show me that I want? And then funnel all of your energy into that thing, knowing that you're not an awful person for doing it because it's actually the whole point of why you are here in the first place. So um, it's about remembering that, you know, the whole point of, of human life is to desire 
to create, to be a creator, to be a conscious creator. And the thing is, is we don't have to let that happen by default anymore. We can be the one that decides what that's going to be. And I'm here to tell you today that you cannot decide or desire something that doesn't exist out there for you. You can only desire that which you have the means to create. It's just, can you actually wrap your brain around the having of that thing? And the way that you do that is by letting the feelings into your body. That's how you really receive it, is like feeling the feelings in your being of what it's like for it to already be true. It's about translating wanting and desire to having. So it's like when you're still wanting something, that's a vibration of, well, if I want it, then it's not yet here. So it's about shifting that to receiving it as if it already is true. And that's shifting your frequency to actually allowing it in. And when you're embodying those feelings, as we talked about, you are now diminishing that desperation. So now it's going to become so much easier and quicker to fall into your lap. And if you really embody those feelings to their fullest degree, it's like not even going to matter anymore if you get the thing that you're wanting because you're already feeling what it would feel like for it to already be here. So it's in that particular vibration where it doesn't even matter anymore if it comes, that it comes like in two seconds flat where you don't even have to think about it. It's just going to show up. And then you're going to be following any impulses you have from that space of energy, which we call inspired action. So that's like a little tidbit of the manifesting portion of module one in energy school that Allison and I just recorded together um, before hopping on this live stream. So energy school, you guys, is here. If you want to take this to the next level, like Allison and I are seriously taking life as a whole and bringing it down and breaking it down into all components of energy. So we're talking about um, every aspect of human life. It's like the instruction manual for living that we never got when we were born. So what we're doing is we're breaking it down into six modules. Module one is going to be all about the mind and manifestation. Module two is going to be all about the physical body um, and what that means for us relative to like elements that we manifest, pain that we have, you know, food that we're putting into our bodies and everything physical about our bodies. Um, module three is going to cover all things emotions and emotions is something that I'm super passionate about. So um, I definitely recommend you guys check that part out because we're going to talk about emotions, how they're your compass through life. Um, why we can't feel certain emotions, what to do when we experience so much trauma in our childhood relative to feeling in general, especially when our emotions had consequences in childhood. If we were invalidated or gaslighted saying that certain things didn't happen, you shouldn't be feeling that way, or maybe even worse, like you weren't even acknowledged and instead you were just dismissed or ignored or sent off to time out, like there wasn't even the time of day given to you. So we're going to talk all about how that trauma has basically set up dynamics for us in our adult life and what to do about that and how important that is. Um, module four is going to be all about the heart space, how to reconnect with your heart, which is where the seat of your truth is, where your purpose lives, where what's right for you lives and how to access that. Rayo says, that's me. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is here for everyone of all levels, whether you're just starting out in spirituality and becoming more conscious or whether you've been doing this for a very long time. Like we design this for everyone of any skill level. Um, and then module five is going to be all about the spirit. So it's about how do you now connect the non-physical into your physical life in a way that's empowering to you, especially relative to things like retrogrades, super moons, um, anything that you feel is external to you that is controlling an aspect of your life. We're here to help you take the reins back in those particular areas, how to come into your gifts, and especially what it's like to live life as an empath, which is module six. When you feel what everybody else is feeling, you're taking on the pain of what everybody else is feeling around you. And how to like look at that in a way that it's actually a gift relative to, you know, something that you're meant to do to help people instead of it being a curse. So that's going to be a huge module in and of itself. It's how to navigate life as an empath, which is module six. Um, and we're starting on September 15th, you guys. This course is coming together. It is just like something I'm so unbelievably passionate about because we're covering everything about life. <laughs> it's crazy, actually. Um, and we would love, love, love to support you guys further and deeper in that course because we can only go so far with our Facebook posts and so far with our live videos. And with the course, when you join, it's something that's online so that anybody all over the world can be a part of. Um, you get the course information and material and modules and workbooks 
forever, for life, because what we're doing is we're teaching you a new way of living. We're teaching you a conscious lifestyle, you know, from all areas. And it's going to take us a time. It's going to be a process. And it's important that you have all this information to reference and to go back to whenever you need it. So this is something that once you become a part of it, you're a part of it forever. And whatever we add to it, you're going to get. Um, so this is happening September 15th, but the private Facebook group where we're all going to be already exists. And inside of it is a waiting pre-work for you to dive right into while you wait for module one to drop on September 15th. Um, and also it's going to provide a space for community, right? So everyone that takes this course with me and Allison, it's going to be with all the other students that are also taking the course and doing all the same things that you're doing. So you're going to get to meet people to connect with that also are of like mind. And you're going to have Allison and I to support you through the entire process, through the entire six weeks in the Facebook group, unlimited. Any question that you ask will be answered. Um, and that's really the best way to get that high touch, high level support from both of us. Um, so I encourage you guys, if you're feeling the call, I linked it up above in the caption of this live video. Um, there is both a pay in full discount or a payment plan, if that feels better for you. Either which, you know, you choose into what feels best for you. And as soon as you commit to either one of those options, we're going to reach out to you with a link to the private Facebook group and you can begin immediately um, getting to meet everybody, diving into the pre-work, and then knowing September 15th is when module one will drop. So let me know if you guys have any questions. I would love to answer any questions you might have. Um, I don't see any coming up for me right now in the live video here, but feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. And if you're already in energy school, I cannot wait to work with you. If you're on the fence about energy school, I highly invite you to check out the link and ask any questions to either Allison and I that you might have. Um, we would so, so love to have you be a part of it with us. And that's all I wanted to say. I really wanted to just share a part of something that was just so passionate and on my heart because we were literally just diving into the material and recording some things for the course. And I'm just like, yeah, I just can't contain myself. So I wanted to share a piece of that with you guys. I hope it was valuable. Um, Angela says sharing. Absolutely. This video is um, completely shareable. Feel free to tag any friends in it or to share it on your own page. That would be awesome. And we'll get the word about, um, get the word out there on how to receive the things that we're asking for. So thank you guys so much for being with me here today. Um, I would love to see you in energy school, and I will talk to you all so so soon. Love you.